I'd like to prove the physical drop. Being analytical. It's Cochrane. Watch Cochrane here. Watch this. Watch him. Watch him. Watch him. These are the clips that I want, Jack. It's m unbelievable. Providing something that maybe is more detailed than people have already gone through this weekend. Will, I bet that was Arsenal's lowest passes in any, any game. It was their lowest this season. <laughs> and yeah, second worst accuracy. I'd like to think that if it happened again the week after, that people could refer back to it and think, oh yeah, I get it now. I, that's, that's what was explained to us last week. Yeah, Jack, it's one perfect. Right, so you see this now. It's a Wolby, one round. We look at Walcott here. Look how deep he is. He should be here. So he's nearer to counter-attack. This is a really good clip, this one. And also sometimes, being honestly, to try and create the agenda of a point. I think he had to go back there, though. To cover... No, go back. He can't go in front of his foot left back when the left and the right winger's got oh, the ball on. No, can he go up now? Yeah, he couldn't. He, he can say there. Mm, he couldn't have gone up there. Yeah, but he can I mean, go the one two's up. The one two's through on goal. I, I, I think it's difficult. I should probably finish with that. I've got my three suggestions. You took off. <laughs> Put me into your bits. <laughs> Cara, do first part. Do the first part. I'll relax. I'm... But why does it work? Uh, Man United, Liverpool. I think people like that. So there's a rivalry, I suppose. But Chippy got something to say. I always think when you watch a lot of TV programmes, there's probably quite a lot of people who work with each other who probably aren't comfortable taking each other on, really. When I, mean, I watch a lot of other programmes, I think... Yeah, I know what you mean. You, they can't take a bit of stick. No. But the first Monday night I did, I remember uh, going home the next day on the train and uh, reading the papers and there was like a big thing on, because, you know, the show that we're on you know, well-renowned and it's a brilliant show to be on. And someone's done a big thing saying that can't continue with me on the show because of the way how fast you speak or but that's just I think you could yeah I could have stitched him right up when he first joined this program but I didn't do I looked after him and I could have done could I I could have made it more difficult for you could have <coughs> no yeah he was good he was to be fair the first few weeks tough when you do the first this program for the first few times it's not as not as easy as I think people sometimes maybe people think it is and it is it does take a bit of time to get used to. Yeah, I'm comfortable now. The last character comes in and says he wants to take it off with well, welcome to get <laughs> Right. Spin. Gary tells me he's got a rower in the house. So he does a little bit there. But he's put some timber on, hasn't he? Oh yeah, yeah. 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 He's let himself go. Yeah. Without a doubt. Can I well it moves? <laughs> I think you'll never lose that competitive edge from the two of us. The real Gary Neville. You've seen him on his own in here, which never happens. You've seen him sign an autograph, which never happens. Yeah. I think the first couple of weeks there were a lot of people looking at us thinking, how's this gonna work? And I think there was an exchange where I think he said something. I think you, you said you no know, wants to grow up to be a Gary Neville, didn't you? Oh yeah. And I <laughs> and I said um, I said he'd be the burglar um, under the bed. Obviously, him having a dig at me and me having a dig at um... Liverpool people in general. <laughs> so I think ultimately after that, I think everyone recognised that there was like a a relationship there where we could actually say what we wanted to each other. Two, two, yeah. two, two, point two by five. Two, two, two. The moves are deceiving. <laughs> 26.2. You actually have 25.3. That's your speed, you nugget, not your distance. Who did the longest distance? Speed's got to win the race, isn't it? No, no. No, yeah, yeah. Yes. No. The that Premier League title is a marathon, my friend. But then at the same it's time, I would say you were faster. But Thank him. you. Thank you. And that's because you I have a three sport. I think it's important, this. Three you sport. <laughs> Liverpool. I Hi. knew it. I knew it. I knew it. They're everywhere in this building. <laughs> Soon as Carrie and Redknapp, Phil Thompson, a lot of them. Can you spend your teachers at Liverpool? <laughs> See you guys! Yeah. That is so much better than they get so wild with the game. People want detail, but they also want to relate to what they say in the pub. I think a good pundit is someone who makes you think, all right, I didn't think of that. That to me is a good pundit ultimately in terms of explaining something to you that you may and you might not have thought about or articulating something that maybe is quite complex about football but simplifying it so that you understand it. You think, oh yeah, I get that now. Yeah, yeah. Okay, no problem. Something different, having a change in the system, so we're looking for something maybe different. I haven't been here all day and it's now quarter past six and we're on at seven. 
they think maybe there's a possibility that Everton might play a different formation, so they want to be prepared for both eventualities. So we're just we're just working on that now. They know we always get it there for them, so that's that's fine. It's all good fun. Now it gets quick before the game. Usually this might be a little bit of a lull, but actually now it gets quite quick because he's run upstairs, I've just run upstairs to try and change it around because you, know, you hear these things late on. And that's the beauty of this show. It's what makes it really that you have to now react. You can't give people at home um, incorrect information. You can't just be lazy and say, well, we didn't expect this. Oh, yeah, big game, derby game. The nerves are kicking in. Got me here, uh, me Everton tie on tonight, so I'm going to get accused of being biased. But there's just so much going through my head right now. It's like being a footballer. You get your first touch. It's a good first touch. And then you're happy. Massive decision. Tie. Which one's more Everton? <laughs> Do you want that long passes graphic, Gary? From Everton in the screen, yeah? So, Gary, stick to your Liverpool answer yeah, yeah, first yeah, question. Yeah. I like to think it's the most respected analysis programme on television it's certainly the most difficult to do just before seven o'clock when those you know you know it's like ten nine eight seven it's coming right counting down you're thinking right here we go you know you've got a, your first answer is always a little bit yeah what's the word shaky it don't, don't matter how many times you've done it it's always a little bit shaky it's just live and feel you feel exposed a little bit I think I always think there's only one show that I go on that makes gives them little butterflies before I go on and it's this one oh, but 20 to it on air in 10 seconds stand by D eight seven Six, D roll. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. On air. On titles. Tonight, our final action before Christmas from the Premier League. And we're watching one of football's biggest derbies. Once the game starts, it is completely reactive for the next three hours where you're actually responding to things. Keep, keep that, Jack. Keep that. If you see a clip, we'll just straight away keep that. Doesn't mean we'll necessarily use it, but you want to go to half time, a few bits and bobs that you've got, things that you see, trends in the game. You may not use it, there's maybe lots of goals in the game, but you've also got to be thinking if the game finishes nil nil, you've got to have a few bits to, to look at. If, he's, if they score, he'll jump up. I'd love to be on there now. <laughs> Everton started really quick, 10 minutes in, but they won't be able to keep this up. Keep that clip, Everton flying into his ball, just pass around them. Whoa! Has he been booked? Nil-nil yeah. is the toughest one. I think unless one of the teams loses, then I can't see it being a particularly great end to show. He's put it ever since a kid. Get Jürgen Klopp in that studio. Look at him, look at him, look at his buoyance in there. Supposed to be neutral by the way. I've been neutral for five years on this program. It's a brilliant and difficult game. So, but um, yeah. You saw the reaction of our supporters, so obviously they were happy too. It's the best thing you can do in a night like this. Well, here on the Monday Night Football Stadio Man, it's injury time winner meant that it would be a merry little Christmas, but only on the red half of Merseyside. From all the Monday Night Football team, Merry Christmas to you. Stop the smile on the camera, it's gone. Damn. Monday Night Football over there. Even before we did it, it was has always been a fantastic show, and it's the, you know it's not been designed by us. You know it's been a long time. Uh, I think it's it's a privilege to work on it. Well done.